Hi friends, thanks for coming back. Welcome. And I want to go through this video, a movie that was sent to me by a patron that is really a amazing piece of filmmaking. I'm going to just go through and break down all the symbolism of it. So the spoiler here is that it's like a 13 minute short film. It's really great. It's called In Darkness. Some of you may have seen it. I'm going to go through it and break down all of what's going on because this is to me, not only a really good piece of filmmaking. I mean, it's just got really great uh, design, graphics, just really well done, but it's a clairvoyance vision of the world and what we're going through right now. And this is pretty much how I see it. So, it, you know, it's just really nicely done. So I'm going to go through all of the symbolism that I'm seeing in this story. Um, I know people have been getting it. It's been circulating a lot now in the, um, in this apocalyptic world we're in of COVID-19 and people are really looking because there's a lot in there that's about, I mean, it's all about what we're going through. And, and I'm going to explain some of this stuff that you may or may not already know. Maybe you caught all this. If you did, let me know. Maybe I missed some stuff, but uh, let me know. Go watch the movie. Come back and tell me how much of it you caught and what I missed. So, okay, here we go. Let's go through it. Um, it's 13 minutes long and I am going to go through the whole thing. So, um, just a heads up that this will be, uh, and I'm not going very far before I, um, before I stop, I'm just going to go through everything I see and stop it every time I catch something. So this should be a deep dive into basically a clairvoyance vision of what's going on in the world right now on a really deep level, like on the, um, clairvoyant psychic level. So here we go called in darkness. All right, I'm stopping here because we already got a lot of symbolism here. So just sort of starts out with this point of light and then there's three points of light and then it goes in, you know, it's like space and going into a human eye. And then we go into the eye and um, there's actually a moon shape. I don't know if you noticed that as we go into the eye, I'll, I'll come back to it. You'll see that there's a moon shape right here. Right there, that, that shadow turned into a moon as it went into the eye. It's like there's the, so this consciousness and then the sh the shape of a moon is the, the shadow right there as it's disappearing into the white bright light, which is symbolizing the subconscious, the images, the impressions, what's going on inside of your subconscious mind. Then we go into the cube, cube of space, which is an esoteric uh, symbol. It's well known. It is um, symbolizes like things being locked into physical matter, things being trapped into the physical cube, the cube of space. So here we have that, it's like a, looks like a metal or stone cube is what we're looking at. It'll make more sense in a minute with all this sort of darkness coming off of it. I don't know if you saw that, these small dark like things being thrown off of it. And it is in fact, if you look at it closely, it's the earth. So the earth has been encubed in this matter, this matter, this physical density of the cube of space. And we go and look at this city off in the distance with this shadow coming off of it. It's got a cloud over it. It's a crazy city, right? Nothing is orderly. Everything is messed up. And it's all sort of floating off the ground in its impossible ways. It's just the intro. We look at this building. These guys are like kind of the center. They're in charge of everything. We've got this kind of magical, levitating, unholy, unnatural light inside. We have this cube again, the cube. And they're all worshiping the cube. See these guys praying to this cube of matter, physical density. Now we see this guy here with an empty heart with um, just darkness in his heart. 
a cube over his head. So capturing his thinking inside this cube of space, this cube of matter, physical. All these people enslaved or miserable or you're trapped by these cubes. Okay, we're not going to hear. These other people are not going to hear anything. Everyone's crushed, stacked on top of each other for the business, for the work. This guy, slave to his house, carrying around his house. We're all enslaved to the material possessions of our homes, our cars. This guy's clinging to it. He loves his car. It's his life. And this busy life of people who are sort of disembodied um, figures they're sleeping they're like commuters business commuters just kind of going through the motions they don't have any necks they don't communicate they can't speak for themselves Our heads top of the head we've got like shards coming out of the top of the head so these are like dark thoughts or uh, the brain being scrambled thoughts being scrambled happening to this guy too see that you'll see that repeated over and over these people are upside down they're floating along this is like a commuter on their way to work right they're just living upside down they're not living at all in alignment with anything real just these sort of time they're slaves to time people with empty empty chests. these guys look like gangsters right no love just dark clouds above them this fake mask here you know, me movies the media look we have happy happy putting masks on people the moon right behind it see a picture of the moon that's the subconscious that's programming of the subconscious look we're all happy it's facebook like time we're happy and everyone is walking around with this mask and they're this is these are like teenagers partying it's all, we're so happy because we're partying. We're living this party lifestyle. It's so great. And we're having random, anonymous, meaningless sex, which is really closer to raping yourself and others. But we're happy. We've got pasted on these masks. So there's no real connection here. And then we create a child. The child is naturally innocent and spiritually aligned with all their chakras, should naturally be awake and aware. But we take them and we pump them full of chemicals. And look at these figures in the background. They have these tongs and these razor-like things and just really like torture devices. And then we have young children in school, the people with the diplomas, their shadowy figures going up and down the aisles, all the children with their little brains in cages. This one, trying to struggle with that. That one, this guy comes and sucks the independent thinking, the creative thought out of the child as they trap him into this cage, this thought cage. Look, the diploma person with nothing but black coming out of the back of the black of his heart chakra. So no love there. These children have all had their throats taken off. They can't communicate and they're just following. Off they go like lemmings over the cliff. We turned into pharmaceuticals. So now they grow up to be teenagers full of chemicals. Pharmaceuticals. Send them to war. Send them to war. Pump them full of chemicals. Pharmaceuticals. Send them to war. Where they fight. They can't speak. They have no throat. They just fight. And then the caskets come home. And somebody is making all that money. All those caskets. Bringing in the money. Lots of money to be made from battle. Money, bloody money. And look, the piles of carcasses of dead skulls behind these guys. But look, on the news, they look so happy. They're kissing babies and, you know, holding daffodils. So they must be fabulous, right? And then we have the politicians or the um, news anchors who are like puppets on a string. I don't know if you caught that. Here we have their mouthpieces. Someone's speaking through their back of their head as they spit out this toxic garbage. 
something butt into their in their mouth from behind look they're talking about someone who's being oppressed the boot of oppression is on their head and there's their happy mask you have the the media this is the media the news with their heads the back of their heads they have these tubes into them telling what to think and what to say they're puppets on strings spitting out garbage there they are on tv tv talk show hosts just with their happy masks on spitting out more garbage more media garbage and here's the public super happy oh we've got the um celebrity chick who's basically selling sex with her happy mask on i don't know if you caught that one where their shoe her mask was she only has one eye you guys remember the illuminati symbolism of one eye it's all about we will program your subconscious that's what that means when they do that they're saying i'm the dominant one and i'm sending messages to your subconscious to tell you what to do so there you go telling your young girls what to do and here she here she is like you know the vixen with her happy mask on but it's leaking from the eyes is she really so happy behind there i'm not sure then there if you see this shadowy male figure behind her um pulling the strings and that would have probably been a like a music star a pop star a female pop star here we go we've got the married couple this would i would imagine like a either a royal couple presidential couple celebrity couple we just are worshiping them if you look everyone's taking pictures paparazzi they're they're famous it's probably the royal family their stars are fabulous and then we have um this couple is on a chain these politicians type people social climber whatever here we have um movies you're going to the movies look it's fabulous we're we've got guns and and explosions but behind the movie we have the director with all of his awards and his camera telling you know but there's this shadowy figure these are the producers these are the executive producers who create these movies you know telling them what to say what to create what to do behind that the movie we've got this person feeling ridiculed by the images in the movie that no one can live up to right this guy in his box of thinking where he's only allowed to think certain ways so now he doesn't feel like he can measure up to what's in the movie because really who can he's got this empty heart and it makes it hurt and empty and black he's in pain and look it doesn't matter i don't know if you caught that it doesn't matter what you put into it some relationship with someone else some awards some computers if you no matter what you put into that hole even the phone that went through his heart whatever you're putting into the hole that void inside doesn't work doesn't doesn't matter here we have this um the phone we worship the phone all these people are like i have to have it needing wanting something that's missing this girl with her you know leaks in her head as she's staring at the at the phone all these people their heads are you know their thoughts are messed up scrambled vacant empty because they're staring into their phones all the time with their fake masks it's a relationship here right these are zombie people but they have devices between them so then they can paste on their happy masks and have a relationship that's not real fake and they pretend it's good because they have their masks pasted on pasted on and we have more people with masks speaking digitally to each other fake 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 boxed in fake Vis video games digital games these kids are having such a great time they're so happy on their games that's all they're looking at these kids over here are suffering. These kids are dead. These kids are suffering. But all they see is what's on their game, on their, their fun games that they're playing. It's more of how the subconscious programming is fed into the children. And then the teenagers, oh, we're just having such a fabulous time. Everything's wonderful. And their brains are scrambled. And behind, you have all these people just being uh, robots, working like robots, little cogs. 
Oh, look at us. Selfie, selfie, selfie. While we destroy the earth and suck it of all of its resources and take all the oil out of it in the most unnatural ways possible. But we're going to take selfies. Oh, look, we're fashionable. We're fabulous in our fashion, right? All of our fashion. We shop, consume, consume fashion. Models, the modeling industry. Here you have these fashion icon men type people. And you have these models who are super, super skinny. They're all on chains. It's a horrible industry. <laughs> horrible industry. But look, secretly, fat. They're not allowed to eat. So, you know, fat is secretly what's there. And then here, this woman. All these dead animals. And then here's the beauty industry. Um, makeup and like kiss, kiss. Beauty. This is Botox and injections from the beauty industry full of toxic stuff and dead rabbits. <laughs> all the all the testing that's done to, for the beauty industry for all the injections that, that people put into their faces and their bodies to be beautiful. Um, or the standard of beauty in that mental box that we live in. But secretly like toxicity coming out of this person who has her happy face on and just looks all perfect. Incredible fashion. And then behind it, behind the mask, there's sadness because there's no real connection there. And look, the fabulousness of the celebrity who's, of course, empty in the gut, empty in the solar plexus, which is um, our self really truly the scent seat of our of ourself and she's crying even though she looks so happy she's actually crying and they're saying how fabulous she is in her you know little costume and there's all this gossip and meanness and nastiness and talking behind each other's backs and it's all just a cloud of darkness because Nothing is ever good enough, but somebody else has because we have can't be happy with what we have because we have to be jealous of what other people have because we're never, ever good enough. The media has put up these yardsticks to tell us that what we are and what we have is not enough. And then these guys trying to impress, of course, the girls with all their chemicals to make them look all steroided out like superheroes. Babies unprotected, unloved, alone. But look, we can selfie ourselves. Me, me, selfie, selfie myself for Facebook likes. Selfie, selfie, looky, looky. Selfie, 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 selfie. Fake, fake identity, right? The identity you get from other people liking you. Look at me, look at me identity, not real identity of being just who you are. And then these kids these kids, younger people, being ripped to pieces by this like culture. More look at me, look at me, like me, like me, look at me, look at me. So if you're shallow enough to be happy with that, look at me, look at me, you're kind of ripping other people apart who have a little bit more depth. And then what's behind it? This is how we raise our food. These are the pigs. The cows. Chickens just crowded together. Wow. Then we just stuff ourselves with it. Stuffing it down our gullets. Oh, GMO. GMO foods. GMO vegetables. They all have toxins and chemicals pumped into them, which are definitely doing something to our bodies. We have like broccoli and whatever it is. It's got these little chemicals going into it with people just eating it like this medical type people like yes yes that's good that's what we got hand on them this guy like just distorted by eating this stuff we got all this medical 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 it's all medical pharmaceuticals Drugs. If you don't feel right because you ate this food that made you sick, look, we have a magic pill for you. More magic pills. And of course, 
the vaccine companies and the pharmaceutical companies are Siamese twins. They're secret handshake. Working in it together. Besides the same coin. Here, I'm fabulous. I have all the medicines you need. Give me, give me the medicines, said the people. I need the medicine. Give me the chemicals. Can't live in this box in my brain. You know? And look, just give them to my child. Give them to my child. And here we have all these people with their little brain boxes saying, please, doctor, please, please, sir, can I have some more? Can you give me a prescription? Look at all of his diplomas. I am the god here. I can give you all the medicine because I have the diploma from the colleges and that say I am medical and smart. And then our brains and then the boxes and the tubes and the medical industry and what they teach them, the box that the medical industry puts your brain in, and then all the little reflections the ways that it, the little thought processes of deflecting, they teach them how to deflect. These are like little mirrors on here. Look at these guys. Their brains all full of like reflectors and messed up brain. And so here we go. Here we got a master sort of head pharmacist guy with like, on why he's holding up his tools of destruction. There's an ax. There's a, there's a, skull there's i don't know like a ship there's a bunch of stuff in there it just looks toxic they've got awards they have money but he's keeping people in boxes look he's holding them down their brains in boxes with his award-winning medicine and all of his little reflections in his brain all these little justifications and reasons and explanations why it all makes sense but here's what he's actually worshiping and holding up is this death and destruction and here's what he's holding down people. Then look, the deal, the little secret deal, the secret handshake, the little politicians who are, uh, you know, buying out the calls, the, the people who are, um, you know, represent the pharmaceutical industries on the media and things like that. They're just the fat cats just chewing up everything and everyone. And look at this guy, this two-faced politician. Isn't he lovely? Handing a check to the little old lady with a much bigger check goes to the military industrial complex. And then there's a chain of graft that goes in that direction. The military industrial complex goes off. And here's where it ends. On the streets where the drugs are being taken by the junkies who are smoking heroin, shooting heroin, smoking crack. And look, the dealers are getting all their, they're being backed by, who is that? Who is that? The military industrial complex. Looks like the secret service, those guys. Handing him the coke, handing him the, the heroin, handing him the drugs. So the dealers are giving them the drugs, taking the money. And there you go. you got the politician. And the judges and the fat cats. And they're saying, Hush, we're, we're going to wash the money. We're washing it. As it goes up to the big house, we wash it. And they smile as they wash it. And they keep their eyes closed. They just wash it. Money, money, money. Washing, washing, washing. And look at these families. These guys, these official business people come, pat them on the shoulder and say, here, look, we're giving you something. But they're really secretly robbing their pockets, dumping out their change, taking everything they have. While it looks like they're all happy and they have their blindfolds on. They don't see what's really happening. And there's the judges and the businessmen parting it up together and laughing and having a good old time. While people are slaves to the dollar, right? Carrot, like running after the carrot. There's the fish. We got this temperature. This is a reference to Earth, the atmosphere, temperature. There's fish there. And now it's been bought, turned into bottled water, and the fish have no more water. We don't know. We don't know what's going on, but our hearts are empty and they're full of darkness. 
And then here we have these native indigenous people. They hang them and kill them and put up industrial complexes. For oil and power and whatnot. And then the, the heat, the temperature is rising on the planet. But the politicians say, shh. And then we have people who are angry, angry men, trying to speak. They go to jail. We have the money, the deals with the oil industry. Here's one. This is a reference. This is Abraham Lincoln. And um, this is actually a reference to the slave trade and uh, the fact that in Africa, it was um, a deal that was made. They were made deals with uh, African tribes. People, Some people would sell their neighbors, basically, in Africa to the slavers that were working for the United States. And there's the money. There's the deal that was made. And there's people who are enslaved, right? That's the guy that's enslaved. Everyone's enslaved. Not just black people, white people, all sorts of people are enslaved. chemicals. Oh, wait, here we go. We've got a gangster, a gangster, musician, rapper, whatever. doesn't, I think this guy's a gangster, but he's got his hookers. And this guy's after the money in the sky up there, the diamond up above his head. And then you got the, you know, the gangster lifestyle. And this guy looks more like he's the rapper, but look at him. He has chains on his throat. He's got the gold chains, but he's got chains around his throat. He can't speak the truth. Nobody cares about him. He could have as many problems as he, you know, but they don't care about him. It's just what he's, the money he brings in for them. And then you have the, the native, the ancient native type people with their honor and dignity. And this guy, no, he doesn't have any. And then look, they've turned, this is pretty subtle. They've turned the white people against the black people. But you can see this guy's white, this guy's black. We're against each other now. We fight against each other. And look, the people, the Illuminati people behind us are like, oh, isn't that cute? We like watching them fight with each other. We cause the problem. We enjoy watching it. We gag each other. We can't speak about anything. We tell each other not to speak. Well, we have controlling forces, control middlemen who gag us. Puppets on strings in the background. Laughing it up. Again, more puppets, strings, gagging people off the speech. We have this cyborg type thing, creature, chemical AI, whatever, robotic. And then that guy is not real, like kind of a robot person. His piece, his face was in slices. His mask was in slices. He's got this cloud behind his head of darkness. But catch this. Check out the uh, pictures on his desk. We have pizza and hot dogs. Anybody know that reference? Pizza and hot dogs? Pizzagate? We have people hanging. We have um, this picture here is reminiscent of the um, artwork of the uh, Podestas, which if any of you have seen is incredibly creepy politician type person or this liaison type person to politicians and there's all these skulls underneath his desk if you can see this all this death smiley face and then all these blindfolded people yay everything's fabulous we're so happy for what you're saying politicians are saying things they want to hear but look the politician is head is on a string all you have to do is change him out for a new one did you notice that this guy that they had before was in a red cloud and then they switched him out for a guy in a blue cloud and then here we go we've got the red shirts and the blue shirts screaming at each other you got the republicans and the democrats screaming at each other meanwhile they're all being sodomized on both sides of the fence they're being sodomized to scream at each other And then you've got these politicians riding upon the backs of those who refuse to see. Lots of people refusing to see. And all the people in the background just 
laughing it up. Look, we've got mirrors and cocaine and dr drugs and drinking and everyone's hanging out with each other and just parting it up while the regular folk just have the blindfolds on. Dude, the guy's smoking joints, drinking booze. She's doing lines. Everyone's partying it up. How about this? We've got the, this guy looks like a, looks like a clergy. We've got the clergy type of collar on. We've got business people here and they're, and politician type people. And they're saying, shh, let's not talk about what happens to the children. We won't talk about that. <laughs> children are not that happy about it, clearly, with this dark cloud of a figure comes along behind them and the parents I don't hear anything I don't see anything <laughs> this is happening in multiple ways whatever is being done to the children there's programming to their subconscious there's things that are literally being dumped to children there's trafficking there's adrenochrome that is the elixir of the evil elite rich who use it to stay young <laughs> And then uh, we've got this distraction here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look over there. He's scared of that boogeyman. We will protect you if you're scared of the boogeyman over there. The big father figure protector of our government, of our system, will protect you. We'll look after you because you're scared of the boogeyman over there. And then mom and pop sitting at home in their beds all on their computers in this unholy glow while there's surveillance they're being watched from every side and the powers that be the controllers are like yeah see look we this is what we did people in little boxes with their phones people locked at home with their phones locked at home locked in a box with their phone the media Thanks. Look, it's a it's just a circus of fear and it's just a circus. People being stacked on top of each other, just crushed underneath. What is it? These zombie creature, evil, brainless, heartless, gutless wonders with all this kind of putridness inside of them. And they're looking up, they're worshiping, an abject worship to something that's on the next floor up. One floor up from them. Oh, look, and we're worshiping what's on the next floor up from us. And we're brainless, dead garbage, too, worshiping what's up here. What's up here? These demonic creatures that are like. So let me back that up. So, we're demonic creatures with this. This, you know, dark force behind them that are sort of worshiping that little cube, the cube of entrapment into the physical. Sucking up all the light, all the life force, from everything and everyone around with this pasted on happy faces all around the outside of it. But guarded by the military industrial complex and stacked on top of the crushed discomfort of all the people below and it's sucking up all their energy sucking up all their energy into that fakeness up there pretty bleak pretty dark pretty sinister what's happening to the people with their homes and their cars and their little life plastic of it starts to fall away as the houses start to disappear and everything starts to crash down and be crushed. People start to fall. They're falling through the cracks. Their masks are falling off. Their boxes are breaking. What could cause something like that to happen? What could cause all of our perceptions to be shaken? Maybe like a virus or something going on in the world that really makes us look twice at our lives? Here we have people falling through the cracks. I mean, these things are just sort of breaking down. 
the sky being taken over by plants and having flowers, all those little deflections turning into something more natural. We're back into the natural order of things. The, the artificial structure breaking down. This guy who was controlling all these people had them all as his slaves in their little mental boxes. His clothing, his fakeness was revealed. The emperor has no clothes. We see behind his mask. And then behind that mask. And then behind that mask. And then what do we see is just a gluttonous pig. And we start to see the belching of the filth coming out of the people who are the filthy people. And then the masks and the shell of armor starting to break down around this guy. And he's starting to be revealed for what he really is. Her too. So everything is breaking down. She's starting to be revealed. We're starting to release that shell. Move into something else. Then this over here. This mask blows off. Gets blown off. Because something's happening to break down the structure and tear it down and awaken the real force, the nakedness, the truth of the human being stripped down to the core bare bones of what he truly is. And as he goes down into the basis of who he is, we go into his brain, into his head, and his brain, and in the center of his brain, this right here is the pineal gland. It's the shape of a pine cone. So it's a depiction of the pineal gland. That is the third eye. That is the opening of the third eye. That is the process of ascending and transcending and seeing beyond the physical illusions and deceptions that we're trapped within. As first the crest and the masks had to come off, then the awakening starts to happen. And then here, the awakening, the seeing, the beauty, Spirit facing the demon. See that demon back there? Facing it down. Handing it down. Opening his heart. Blowing it away. Being washed clean because he's opened his heart and pushed the demon away. He's washed clean with an open heart. Connected to spiritual, his true spiritual nature. The true light within transcending he's rising above breaking through the crust same with her he's doing the same They're both awakening and the bird is a symbol of soaring above so her open heart is leaving her leading her to soar above the limitations of looking at the world as only a physical incarnation. Transcend and moves above that. And enters into harmony with the masculine. So we have, this is a balance of masculine and feminine energy. This is actually a depiction of the Kundalini within each human being. We each have a masculine and feminine side. And here we have the masculine is leading with his left foot and arm, and the feminine is leading with her right foot and arm. So the masculine is leading with his feminine, and the feminine is leading with her masculine. So they are both in service to each other, not to themselves, not to their own ego, but in service to unification to bring up this sword, the sword of truth. This is the unification of the kundalini energy, which is how we awaken the pineal gland and how we transcend and have that vision and are able to open up our third eye is through kundalini. So this is a depiction of that. Sort of truth, sending light out into the world and breaking through the garbage and creating a bridge between the higher dimensions and the physical dimension, the earth, and all these people, these beings being brought into alignment to this baby. It's like the unification of everything, bring everything back into oneness. The masculine and feminine energy now created into a new baby being with roots into the earth and branches up into the, the sky, to the, um, to the spirit.
to the heavens. The energy of light transcending everything, bringing it all the darkness has just been transcended and turned now into a flourishing, a rebirth. Everything has been turned into light. An awakening, right? Kundalini, vision, all the chakras aligned again, all the chakras awoken again. It, as a bridge between the heavens and earth, the being, to be awakened. And that's how we become awakened. That is clairvoyance, being awakened a thing. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm just going to let it fade out. So that, that was how I saw that when I looked at it, when I watched it. Um, let me know if you had similar perceptions. If you saw something, I if you caught something I didn't catch in there. I think I did a pretty good job of catching most of it. So uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for joining me. Bye guys.